Hello everyone and welcome back to another Stormworks tutorial. Now in this video we are going to be talking about the seven segments that were added in last week's update. Now we'll go over all the components you'll need along with that how to wire them up, how to actually build the microprocessors that you need to go ahead and control them with and then last we'll play around with them in the world of Stormworks. Now if you're enjoying this videos comment below and if else you'd like to see any of my future videos why there don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and make a little bell icon to be notified of my upcoming content as soon as it gets posted so that all said let's go ahead and get started with the tutorial now to get started i've actually gone and loaded up an example that tt has gone and actually loaded to the workshop you can see here it's a simple panel along with that he's gone and had the microprocessor the actual battery itself we've got four of the actual new uh, seven segments on there along with a keypad. So you can see here, we go ahead and enter in a one, this changes to one. If we were to enter in 10 or 19, actually you can see both of those are going to it and it can go up all the way to a thousand. Now, as you can see here, 1000, perfect. Now, as I said, you guys can go and download this, see how it works for yourself. But what we're going to do now is we'll actually go into this dive and have a look at his microprocessor, see how it works out, what math he's using. And then we'll actually go and try and build our own here in Stormworks using these seven segments. So with that all said, let's jump into the workbench and start seeing what this is all about. Now, bringing this into the workshop, you can see obviously everything we just went over, but in terms of what's going on, we have the different panels at the top here. Now, if I'm correct, uh, yes, seven segments there. We have two of them over here. Channel four is for the thousand. Channel three is for the hundreds. If we go here, channel two is for the tens. And then channel one is for that. Along with that, he has this keypad that's just going in. Uh, the actual, you can see here, keypad goes into the microprocessor and then his microprocessor comes out into the two panels as they should do. Now, if we start actually looking into the microprocessor and seeing how it works, we can kind of start getting an idea here. Now you can see the numbers coming in. It's going into these four different function blocks here and then going finally into our actual reader. So it's reading four numbers, channel one, two, three, and four. So channel one, as I said, as for the single digits, double digits, triple digits and quadruple digits and then going out as a composite signal. Now the math behind this, uh, so it's taking a number, so say for example one, it's going to come in, it's doing floor, x divided by y and then lastly as you can see here it's now using the modular for the 10. Now if I correct, if we click on the second one it's the same, third one's the same and fourth one's the same. You're probably wondering well okay, how is it actually calculating if it's the first digit, second digit, third digit, fourth digit? If I'm correct, it then comes in here. And that's what you can see now is dividing by one or dividing by 10, dividing by 100 or dividing by 1000. Pretty simple. So if it gets a one, it's coming in, dividing by one and it's only shooting a one out and so on and so forth. So enough talking about that. If I'm correct, what we can do is we can actually just copy this design take this actual math cattle number and actually start building our own. If you didn't want to, you could obviously use his, um, obviously just make sure you do give credit to him on the workshop if you're going to use his microprocessor. But let's go ahead and start building our own example here in Stomach. So I'm gonna go ahead, create a new vehicle. Now, I'm just going to do more or less the same thing what he did uh, in terms of actually building this. You can see we have our base here along with that. I'm just gonna build up a simple panel where we're going to put our two actual different panels there along with that is another keypad exactly like he's done now to start off with the component you need is going to be the obviously keypad so we're going to putting our number in along with that is we will need the panels so we're going to go ahead and grab these two instrument panels just over here make sure it's upright grab another one there we also need a battery because we have some electric here and because we're in advanced mode, so I'll put this here at the back, just like how he did in his example. I will link his example in the description, guys, as always. And then now we need to start actually configuring our different panels over here. So we click on the first panel here. As I said, in his example, he's gone ahead and put in the first dial, which is going to be the single digits. He's gone, obviously change the second segment and make sure it's on channel one. If we go to the second one, which is going to be double digits, make sure we change it to seven segments and change it to number two, so channel two. We then go into the next block. The second one is channel three, seven segment, channel three, perfect. And then the first one is seven segment and channel four. Pretty simple so far, guys, okay? If you unclick here, you can see we have the four there. If you want to hide 
these are gauges underneath it you can obviously go here and choose none and none and the same goes for here just choose none and the next one is none pretty simple we've gone ahead and hidden it now make sure you go and do any logic that you do have available to do now so we're going to connect the electricity and now we'll actually go into building our microprocessor i'm going to go ahead and click on new microprocessor now the actual nodes that we're going to need as you saw in this example is going to be the number input this is where we're going to take our number called input we also need a composite output that's going to go over to the panels itself and talk to the panels we can then go and shorten this down just like so and make sure and we're just gonna for this example i'm just gonna write test seven segment cool we can then jump into the logic of this build you can see here we have our composite and we have our numerical input now i'm kind of going to do a little bit backwards i'm going to start off with the actual reader so you can see here reader we're going to go and do actually no it's a writer let's go and do our right 32 number great we don't have to use the 32 we could if we wanted to we could just do the single number ones like here however the 32 one is nice and neat here so you can see here the numbers are going to come through they're going to go through the mathematical, mathematical equation they're going to come into channel one two three and four and then we're going to take our composite signal down into the output which is going to go into the panel itself now we need to go ahead and start putting down our function blocks so let's do a three number function block cool let's grab four of those because we're going to do the same example as what he's gone and done so grab four of those as i said earlier his mass that he's gone and used i've copied it already so i'm just going to paste it into here perfect we are then going to take the number into every single one of these x's perfect and now we need constant numbers so i'm going to go ahead and place four of these down remember this is going to be the one the ten the hundred and the thousand this means it's going to then divide by these numbers obviously to get our different outputs perfect make sure we have this all correct great one here ten here hundred here and lastly a thousand here Great. Once we have that, channel 1, channel 2, channel 3, and channel 4. Pretty simple so far. We can go ahead, make sure we save this down. As I said, test 7 segments. Perfect. And we will go back into our creation over here. Make sure we go and find our test 7 segments, wherever it is. Is it there we go test seven segment perfect we're going to put it down just to the side over here and now we need to start hooking up our logic we've done the electricity already we need to do our composite which is coming out of the processor into our two panels and then lastly our data which is coming from the keypad into the microprocessor we can then go ahead and spawn it in just over here just like that you can see all of it is zero at the moment if we go ahead and change this to one that changes to one if we were to go ahead and do 22 you got 22 coming out there 333 three, three, first three digits and 444 four, and all the digits there pretty simple guys very easy to do as i said the mathematical part of it is the hard part uh that's why i have not that much <laughs> that much skill when it comes to maths and that complex max there hence the reason why we've gone ahead and used his tts but his example is really really good uh as i said you can use it for any example this is just obviously one number coming in but you can duplicate this as much as you want as i said just make sure if you are using his microprocessor give him a little bit of credit in your workshop links if you are uploading it but that's it for this tutorial guys so I think we'll go ahead and end today's video over there, guys. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and found it somewhat entertaining and informative as always. And we'll see you in the next one.